Welcome to Rebel DeFi, where I share videos that are categorically not financial advice about decentralized finance and NFTs in the Cosmos ecosystem. I'm carrying on with my Cosmos 365 challenge today, where I'm attempting to outperform Bitcoin by investing $1,000 each month into the Cosmos ecosystem. The dApp that I'm going to be using today is Levana, and Levana is a fully collateralized perpetual swaps platform. And what this allows me to do is take a leveraged position long or short to get more exposure to an asset and we can have a look at all the different assets that are available so levana apparently stands for leverage any asset and it's just loading up just now okay so i'm going to be doing this on osmosis just wait for the chart to load in so this is the atom usd chart there's a whole host of different assets that i can long or short the one that I'm going to be playing with today is Osmosis, or the Osmo token. And I'm actually already using Levana. Uh, if you remember one of my earlier videos, I deposited $200 worth of Atom onto the LP side. And this is what the traders are um, playing against. You can either provide, or I can either provide an LP, and if the traders lose, I win, or I can try and trade and try and beat the LPs. So on this part here, we've also got this funding rate. So a positive funding rate for longs means I have to pay to keep my position open. And then a negative funding rate for the shorters means they get paid to keep their positions open. So this negative funding rate quite high for the shorters is to try and encourage people to short Osmo on the platform. I am of the belief that Osmo could be going further up so I am going to be longing today or opening a long position today. The collateral that I have to use on Levana for this pair is Osmo. So I'll need to get some Osmo tokens. Now this is Osmosis Pro so today I'm going to be swapping some USDC into Osmo so I can play on Levana. I've got about $100. I'll just do all of it. And here we go. Just need to confirm this in my wallet. And then once this trade goes through, I think I'll have to refresh for this number to update. Just do that just now. Okay, so we can see that the trade went through and I've got the collateral here. So I can use maybe 140 Osmo. Okay, so that's saying $104. I'll maybe use a little bit less. I'll use 136. Okay, so that's closer to $100 worth of collateral. And I can you do leverage between 1.25 all the way up to 4x. So if I was going to do 4x leverage and take profits at, say, $1, so that's a 33% gain from where we are just now. And that would make me $136 profit. But if I'm doing 4x leverage, that means my liquidation price would be $0.59. Cents. So that's not a massive drop from where we are. So if I was to do less leverage, a less risky position, that would take my liquidation price down to 39 cents. But then it also means that my gains would be less, $68. So let's just say try 2.1. What's my liquidation price going to be? Okay, 41, 40 cents. Right, do I think Osmo's going to drop to 40 cents again? I'm going to go back to 2x leverage and I'll change my take profit to 1.04. And that could potentially make me $79. And my collateral is 100, essentially $100. So that's quite a nice gain. 
I'm essentially betting that Osmo is going to go to $1.04 before it goes to 39 cents. So if it goes to 39 cents, I would lose everything. But if it goes to $1.04, I would gain $79. So I think this is essentially a bet on the price of Osmo. I think that's a bet I'm prepared to take. The longer my position's open for, the more I'm going to have to pay this funding rate to keep the position open. And the funding rate is fractions of a dollar every hour, which will add up over time. Obviously, if I keep open for days, weeks, even months, it could become quite expensive to keep this position open. Now, I could set a stop loss, but I'm not going to. I think that I like the flexibility of this low liquidation price. And that is essentially Levana on the trade side. So I'm not going to go crazy with, I mean, some of the assets you can go up to, or I could, if I wanted to say Bitcoin, I think you can go up to 30x. Great if you predict correctly, but if you don't predict correctly, you can lose everything. So I'm going to just play with $100 for fun and hope that it goes the right way for me. So now we just click on open to open this position. And the wallet pops up, sign it in my wallet. And then once this position opens, it should appear here in, in, in the open position section. Okay, there we are. Now I could have done a limit order if I was maybe hoping that the price of Osmo would, would drop a little bit before going up again. But I just thought, let's just get this one open. Um, so I did a market order. And this shows me details of the position that I opened. And if I want, I can close this position early. Don't want to do that just now. So I'll just keep this position open and hope the price of Osmo goes up. If you've got any questions, comments or criticisms, please leave them down below. Thanks.